I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Earlier, late this year, that is about last month, I flew in from Ghana to receive an award from the Evolve 2.0 conference. Um, Charles Awuzie, somebody I respect so much, Dr. Charles Awuzie, a tech entrepreneur, gave me an award. And what he said that day that I started mentoring him when he was a young man at a bar. Today is a global figure and he gave me that award in the presence of several prominent Nigerians. Today, I came to Asaba to receive an award from the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Tourism, Delta State Government. And then the, the award is uh, on, based on outstanding commitment to mentorship. I started mentoring young people right from the Sunday school at Aba. I was a youth Sunday school teacher. And my wife would tell me, your ministry is with young people. And at one time, it looked as if I was wasting my time. At one time, I was surrounded by young people. I know the ones I used to give transport money to go back home, and several of them, but I was consistent in giving them direction, in giving them counsel, in providing a model for them to follow and living the kind of life I anticipated that they will follow. Among the recipients today is somebody I've been mentoring, that's the crown parents of my kingdom, Mugeli Kingdom, Dr. Barrister Jeremiah Oharisi, the crown prince of Mugeli Kingdom. I presented his award to him. He came to meet me that I should mentor him. And God told me before then I will mentor the future king of the kingdom. And at this age bracket, I'm so happy that the seeds I sowed more than 20, 30 years ago, I am reaping the reward and getting the recognition. Don't be discouraged. Your pathway to greatness is different from another person's pathway. Mine has been towards making people, when I meet people, I leave them better than I met them. We took so many pictures today. In fact, they gave me money. Some people just entertained me according to our culture with money. People I've never met before, professors, all kinds of people were excited to meet with me, including the police public relations officer, Bright Edafi, took my number. And uh, I'm so encouraged and I will continue doing what I am doing, speaking the truth, mentoring people, sharing my life with them. Apart from a few things, there is nothing I have not shared with you because I promise God that if he made me to be a successful person, which I'm aspiring to become, I will share with one million Africans what he has done in my life. Keep pressing on. There is hope. Don't give up. I remain the area grandfather. Somebody said I've become an uh, area great grandfather because the grandchildren are now raising children. God bless you. This is to you, all who have been a source of joy. God bless you.